Oh, Hello. Hello, doctor. Hello, doctor. Hello. Ah, I'm okay. Hello. Hello, doctor. Or I can't get a Hello. Hello. Hello, doctor.
Hello? Hello? Hello, doctor. Hello.
Hello, doctor. Hello, doctor. Hello, doctor. Hello, doctor. Hello, So, like, lighting here, you will So, yeah, uh, can I start? Yes, yes. Can I eagle? Angel come to tie it, tie it. In the day, I think. So, 
yeah the, welcome all of you for uh, joining me for the natural language processing class and, and and we are going to yeah the, what happened to the slide hmm. actually i don't like team and i, I prefer to use zoom and then let me change this one yeah. Okay. So, so we are about to see the course entitled Natural Language Processing for one or two days, and we are going to cover some key topics or terminology. Uh, and the, the, the first part is that. So, of course, uh, we expect that at the end of this course, you will have some solid understanding of uh, the basic concept in natural language processing. And, of course, you are going to learn how to pre-process text data for different natural language processing applications. Uh, in line with that, we, also see, we are going to see about the different applications of natural language processing. Yeah, we do have some projects related to the natural language processing. And I will do one project for you, for you, and then you can do the remaining part as a part of the course assessment. Uh, at the end, again, you, you are also going to learn how to measure the performance of NLP applications. Just before diving into uh, the, the course, uh, maybe in case you don't know me, let me introduce about uh, my academic background, and of course, I also studied uh, my bachelor degree in Wallaga University. And actually, I'm the first batch to earn the bachelor degree in computer science and information technology from Wallaga University almost 12 years ago. And then I received my master's in computer science from Addis Ababa University after three years, and then uh, in 2017, I get a fully funded scholarship to study my PhD at National Tsinghua University and Academia Sinica and graduated in at the end of 2020. And in short, I do have more than 10 years of experience in teaching. And again, I was appointed as a student ambassador for IE and I served almost for two years and then this time I'm working as an assistant professor of computer science at Dorado University. At the same time, I'm also editor in chief of Harla Journal of Engineering and Technology. And also I'm also serving as the associate, associate editor of IE Security Magazine. And also I'm the founder of Click Technology PLC, almost founded two years ago. And we are uh, a, team of, a, a, a team of three computer science experts and we are building software and also involved in consultancy yeah these are some overview about me maybe in case you want to get the uh, detail about my academic background and research interest you can look at this site and later on i'm going to share this site with you so you can have some basic uh, knowledge about me so Importantly, uh, my, I'm more interested in the application of artificial intelligence research. And as you know that the, the AI in this application is becoming a hot topic in, in, in different sectors, trends from education, banking sector, and also in the uh, crime investigation office. And so I'm more interested in cybersecurity because my PhD dissertation focus on how to utilize the AI for cyber attack detection and mitigations. And I do have some publication related to that. And also as a part of my master's study, I did NLP research targeting a panoramo and, and I'm still interested to uh, utilize the power of uh, neural net for different uh, uh, NLP applications. Importantly, I also participated in a project, uh, something related to the computer vision. And yeah, if you are interested in this area, you can also contact me other than uh, uh, having the discussion for the natural language processing class. So 
yeah yeah interesting i, I would like to know about you also but i think we are running out of time it's almost yes 320 and maybe gradually you can get to know each other later on so uh we can get to back this later on and now i'm i, I want to proceed directly to the 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 presentation part so let's begin our discussion with uh, defining what is a natural language or what is the language itself maybe you can respond to me, to me about this one what's the language so how do you define language before we start discussing about natural language processing so what is language for you maybe you you, you, you can tell me your response What's natural language? Hello? Can you hear my question? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, as much as we can, we need to make the class interactive, even though we are going online and yeah, it, it will be it will be better if you have a communication. Okay. Maybe you can take a look at it later on. So when when we say language, it, it is something that evolved naturally without pre-programmed or without predefined rules. So uh, initially or historically that the language that we talk at this time is not something that happens suddenly or consciously because it evolved through time that's as similar to the way we evolve uh, in geography. So at the beginnings, uh, as the history said, there is no formal communication and peoples, they use the sign language for communication. Are the animals do on uh, I mean, can you all hear half an hour more? Yes. 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 In, in the history that the homo sapiens when they, they try to utilize the power of the language they, they use the symbol or the expression for communication for for example when their enemy arrives they will create some sound or uh, some expression based on their hand or their facial expression for communication and the gradually this was changed to something that we use today. Hello, something like that, or rather something like that, something that can easily communicate with the sound for understanding each other. So, yeah, so of course, now that you know that this time we do have a wireless communication, but the, in the ancient history, the pe people also use uh, a wireless communication. For example, like as you can see it from this uh, animation, they use a fire to indicate the enemy is coming or if there is a wedding or if something is going in the community. So, so asarata kagartan hari hari yero kau patterni hara sanara kani kafagenya rajratu na bara bakka rajrat wolini communicate with atrani to the barat rikaje so communication has a very long history and the form of uh, communication or the language that we have at this time was evolved gradually to become english afan rom or something like that so similarly animals can communicate uh, using different techniques to indicate the presence of food, danger, threat, or reconciliation. So, and as soon communicate here, guys, you hear us at two communication styles, and that's too much. So, so communication is not only for the human being. So, we do have different 
categories of natural language. It can be textual or speech, or we do have also a, sound, a sign language. So as some report indicates, there are over 7,000 spoken languages in the world today. And out of these, more than half of them have a written system or a written language, or they do have their own scripts. Like when we come to the, when we come to Ethiopia, the only language that has a script is Amharic and Aegis, yes? So the same thing called for others. And most of the languages do share the Latin script for the writing purpose. And yeah, so that's the way the language evolved. And you can maybe read some historical evolution of uh, language from YouTube or other sources. So let's come back to the NLDP or the so-called natural language processing. So as you can see from the text, there is a natural language that we discussed earlier, and again, there is a processing. So from this topic, we can easily understand that we are, this is all about processing the natural language using the machine, or the one we call an algorithm. So it is technical, you can define that the subfield of AI that concerned with enabling the computer to understand spoken text in the same way as we do, or letting the machine to recognize and interpret the natural language. So here, the input to the natural language can be, or the NLB can be text, speech, or the sign language. So, so always when we talk about NLP or natural language processing, we do have three categories of input, textual data, speech data, and picture or the signs, the sign language in Manila, so it's supposed to under you So the, the primary goal is to enable the computer to understand and interpret the natural language as we do. That's the simplistic definition of NLP. Okay, so, so, so the typical example that I may raise for you is that the Google translates. So, you are very familiar with the Google Translate and you can provide some text in one language and it will automatically do the translation for the other language, from Amharic to Afano Romo or English to Afano Romo or vice versa. So this is a typical application of natural language processing because if we provide the input data as an English, the computer is processing this input and it's going to generate the corresponding translation in a final room. So at the end, it is doing the processing as we do, as the human translator do that. That's the sole purpose of NLP. Processing must be there. So NLP is, is the subfield of AI that aims at processing the natural language data as the human do. That's it. So this is a typical application. Like, like as you know, recently, the Google Translate introduced the addition of nearly 60 new languages for their machine translation. So typically, as you can see it here, I provide welcome to Nekamte. And then the Google did the translation for us. Of course, you don't need to expect 100% perfect translation because they utilize the power of AI for translation. So as we provide more example, it is going to learn more and beca become good at producing the correct output for the input that we provide. So historically, so it's, yeah, yeah, this time it's, it's becoming a very, uh, a, a very uh, interesting topic but it's not something that was started in 20th century. So as the hint history indicates, the, the concept of natural language processing started to appear in the World War II, nearly 1940s, so almost 60 years ago, no, 80 years ago. So at this time, the, 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 the the kings and the queens start to recognize the power of NLP or natural language processing, primarily for machine translation. 
because sometimes they, during that time there is a slave trade and again those slaves that they buy from africa they are taken to the europe and they are provided a training and then they can get involved in the world war ii so at that times the translator is required yes because those guys who comes from africa they don't speak english so the translator is important so at that time the the concept of nlp starts to emerge and later on almost after 18 years the programming language called lisp the so-called locator identifier separation protocol was released by john mccarthy and for the first time the first chat boat was developed and it's called elisa so maybe still like uh interface so that's a the, the chat the chat board. of course they use they utilize a rule-based chat board. so you can provide you can communicate with the chatbot by simply saying like hello i'm elisa so the first time you la launch this tool it will say like that then the user can provide some introduction hey then based on your input it tries to analyze what you provide and try to suggest some possible output so it say don't you ever say hello because at the beginning he didn't say hey he said hey so elisa is not familiar with this one so elisa enforces the user to type hello and then it will keep conversing with the user like that and primarily this chatbot was used for diagnosing psychiatrists or someone who has a problem with a, that someone who has a mental problem so 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 the, the concept of nlp is almost 18 years old so so it's not something that happened in the last five or ten years and later on in 2011 apple siri became known as one of the world's first successful nlp tool or software so siri as you know it is a device that automatically do the speech recognition so you can speak to your apple phone so that the apple phone can do the process for you for example you can say please call chala so after recognizing your speech the apple will start calling the, the it will start searching the person named chala in your contact list from your phone and start calling him so this is a very powerful NLP application and the series is the most successful speech recognition software. Of course, there are numerous challenges in building the speech recognition tasks. So we will come back to that later on after a yeah, few minutes. So, so this is again one of the research or one of the projects that motivates mon many of the researchers worldwide to get involved with in NLP research. Yeah, before I move to the key topics for today, and I want to let you revise some basic concept in computing. As you know, we can provide any data to the computer. And to get recognized, those data need to be translated to some standard form. The one that we call ASCII code, or the one that we call binary number. Because the input that we can provide to the, the computer can be a letter, speech, picture, and whatever. So to get a, a recognition, we need to do this kind of transformation. So if we type blue, so blue is nothing for the computer other than this sequence of numbers. Yes? So whenever we are feeding the text data to our computer for NLP application, we need to do this kind of transformation that's converting into the textual or vectorized form so that existing NLP application can utilize that for doing the classification, clustering, regression, or different applications. So, do the do wasa kajiru kanachu? Wannihundum tu garala kofsati egejit jira meti? Some border process is even like that. Kero computer afin bloom bloom it bloom number it. He don't care about the meaning. He care about the number. So blue is B L U E for the computer, not blue. 
نوفي نامي وان تا كان وان بين نوف بلوين دو بيزني مينينغي سابينا سو ماشيني مينينغي اكاتيكن كانو تاسيسو ان اللي في يو ابلاي كوني راچو افتر وي ابلاي اب ابلاي ذا ان اللي في اون ذا تيكستوال ديتا بلو بيكالس بلو سو يا ذيس از ا كايند اوف ريبيتيشن ويز ذا بريفيس وان and here we are converting the text hop into binary so at the end you are going to concatenate this one so they are all treated independently it's up to you to give the meaning to this data by applying the natural language processing task otherwise they are independent things and they can't do anything with hop great so now let's move to some typical applications of natural language processing the first one is called part of speech tagging part of speech so in english as you know there are eight parts of speech like noun verb adjective imen lacho malenno selezi andenya we nlp application sara tag marag so you can provide some sentence and it will automatically recognize this is a noun this is adjective this is adverb this is blah 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 So, yani ni mias chill application mune balal part of speech tagging. Okay, yani ni misara sara malenu. So, so post is an NLP application that labels word as one of the several categories that can be adjective, adverb, noun, or others. Okay, yani automatically ni misara algorithm masrat malenu. Of course. There are some research has been conducted for Afano Romo and American but they are not such successful and we need to consider about this one so yeah so we need to devise a mechanism to enhance those model by utilizing uh, the AI models so for example you want you provide this sentence to the model I want an early upgrade so if you have a very good part of a speech tagger or if your algorithm is good it will say oh i is pronoun one is a verb and is a determinant blah blah yeah of course the previous or the 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 the, the, the legacy approach to do the part of speech tagging is a rule based you need to provide a dictionary for pronoun and again for verbs then you can do the lookup to automatically look up the data uh from the dictionaries that you previously defined but now we do have ai models so in ai case you don't need to create a dictionary for every uh part of speech that you have because if you come up with something new or some new verbs that's not available in your dictionary you need to have a mechanism to automatically recognize that one too so of course the rule based approach will fail if you didn't incorporate that rule into your knowledge base but ai models are good at that so this is a part of speech tagger and it do have a numerous application most of the time you can consider it as a, the pre processing step for natural language processing tasks rasun chilo misara research no neger gin ihinin kale inde gibat metekem chilalen malenno مالف كون هيدو بربا تشار فكينيا في ماشين ترانسليشن يوجن يوتا اي جلقو مرتي سنا الى لو قمنا يتشو ماشين ترانسليشن الى مالفي ناوني ناونين يرو ترانسليت تو جيجيرمون قبو اوتوماتيكالي موديلين كينيا ور ناوني تي ادباسي ني بي كتانا مكان غاديسا غاديسا تو قبو يرو جيجيرمون ترانسليت يرو تو افان براتس غاديسا تو قبو كنافو translate tone ra ne gemocho la so bifa kana andalaka sanifu barbachi sa rechal automatically part of speech tagger i qamna tana jel qabarret iso jinni sa wodet translation u jechu dendenya tura so it will simplify the task of part of speech uh, the task of machine translation if you have yaru afano robo fa marifu fa yola le yo thesis imetan fa mera code insan jiru fa yedemu frakisa la tchu de gain asirat le jinni dumin andala guden le su Uh, for amharic or for amano or other local languages kadurani rule based dida origin is nimmo ai fayedam tani part of speech tagger dela gudende switch of education afan 
camera feature because as in you are going to define the language specific rule for uh, that specific language and again it is an integral part of spell checker and the grammar checker now it is grammar checker if you spelling checker in delega you did a there come a part of speech tagger it about you cover mood lisa marifi now only the covet and he capitalized out of a first letter is a grammar checker in a charger but tag is you got an part of speech tagger in me okay kubit card and got some very from it and an area versus a resude and that otherwise there is no way to proceed to the grammar checking if you don't have the past of speech tagger in and really we don't have that that much effective part of speech tagger for a funnel when someone can work on that too yeah there is also named in ticket recognition i will come back to this one later on the second one or the second and the most important application of uh, nlp spell checker checking the spelling okay so the, the spell checking is a task of checking if a word is misspelled or not okay so forgive me the red one niho it want a ventilator in banana Okay, I apologize. And yeah, so so spell checking is the task of detecting if a word has a spelling error or not. Okay, so for example, let's say the user wants to type physics is an interesting subject. As you can see it here, physics, this is a spelling mistake, yes? So if you do have an efficient spell checker, it has to detect that physics is misspelled and it needs to do the transformation to convert this one to physics and then it needs to change this one to subject okay so this is what we call spelling error detection and then correction so here we do have two tasks in spell checking the first one is detecting the error and the second one is generating suggestion for the misspelled word wala machuda jalqaba dogogoru jirachu sa finjirane sa cheki goda samboda suggestion generate gochu qaba chuda ko microsoft word irat simbeta okay so algorithm illa madalak na chuda spell checker idalak na tana error detection mechanism and the second one is error correction mechanism so it's a combination of two algorithms so typically here is a structure of the spelling checkers. So, for example, this, this works for Microsoft Office. In the Microsoft Office, there are dictionaries of noun words, specifically that of the English. So, while you are typing in Microsoft Word, the spell checker will automatically check each word for their availability inside the dictionary of English language. So if that specific word is available in the dictionary of that language, it will treat it as it will be treated as correct. Otherwise, it will be flagged as spelling error. Nibetani, word in that case of Afanorum Guberes in Malgor. Kaid Angela Murami. So word in Kaijala Murami Ramu right click your gunu suggestion in Ufidacho. Detect the goddess. Add to dictionary, you can name the matter of the Nunga for Malifi, dictionary Saki Sakawata, a Guber Iron word is an Adevine Barreson. It will check if that word is available in the dictionary. If not, it will flag it as an error. Then, error detect the good in the Tanum error correction. So, for the error correction, you need to provide a mechanism to generate a suggestion. Of course, I will come back to that later on. Yeah. yeah, so technically, there are two types of spelling error. The first one is called non word, the word that is not available 
or invalid word in the, in the specific language. That's what we call non-word error. Spelling error where the word itself is not valid word for that specific language. Okay? That's what we call non-word error. Typical example. Suppose that while you are typing a word apple, you mistakenly type apple like this, double L instead of E. So in an in English dictionary or in English language, A-P-P-L-L -L is not a valid word. It's not a word at all. So this kind of word is called, this kind of error is called non-word error because they are not a valid word for that specific language. The second one is called real word error or contextual error. The word is valid for that specific language, but it was mistakenly used in incorrect way. Typical example. He ate, he ate water. So look, look at each word. He is a valid word. A, it is a valid word. Water is a valid word. But this word cannot go together because we can't eat a water, yes? So the correct replacement will be he drinks a water. So this kind of error is called real world error. So most of the time for Afano Romo and other uh, local languages, most of the researchers works on non word error because this one is very easy to implement, yes? So I hope some of you can work on this one as a part of your master's thesis. Real world error detection for Avano Romo language, for Amharic language, for Walaitinya language. This can also be a research topic for you, okay? Sanifu, research area is not in that. So, Canada like Gutana, real world irregular Gutana, like it's a kind of grammar checker for Avano Romo. Garu fully grammar checker in Miti, wordy Casares, which are Domale wordy you fired a neck and was a race student down, right? So, maybe. Uh, by the way, topic can I row, course can I cover Gunu or Kachala, one tota Tessis Kesan if Tony Sini Himadima, Arakanani, title your children this way around the Kesan, because the most challenging part in master's study is getting the thesis topic. Okay? So Sanifu, as a ratty one tota to Banuk, Albing, Albe Fada, so you can consider it for your master's thesis together with your advisor and start thinking about which one is more suitable for yourself, okay? So this is what we call non-word error. So as I stated earlier, there are two main tasks in spell checking, spell checking, the first one is detecting the error. The second one is correction or suggestion generation. So there are numerous spelling error detection approaches. So uh, yeah, previously I said that the Microsoft Office utilize it, it utilized dictionary-based approach for spelling error detection. Malgo da chirati, dictionary wordi ingilifa chikesa tula mejra, nami ye guba resu, wordi nuti bar resine, dictionary sana kesa jira monjuru de cheki guchari. Harawan yor ufek ayi go da chok. So bifa sana detectable. This is what's called dictionary-based approach, error detection in case. Or dictionary lookup, lookup igol. Rakon Samarida, wordy na chiki sa jirre himbe fat kenya fi. So yeah, implementing this kind of strategy for Afano Romo is is useless because Afano Romo is highly inflational language. Inflational kajedu malida or sisu dan dama he dumina fat kenya fi. For a word to beka beka jet jet ura jet chakuma to drive go chure nenya. Beka kajet beke. Be kumsa, be kani, be kam tota. Jenne dera daru dende nya hunda sani. Tokora hedu tu aleba. Okay. So sunu mumal fida. Be kayo kabane. Nami ye gubra over race. Be kumsa ye de over race. Irari teva. Modeling kenya automatically. Be kumsa and be kumsa. So that's the key issue. Coming to Amharic also, for Amharic language, let me say, Fileg, Yemil word, root the word candle. Kefileg, this can't miss word drive Marikin because Amharic is also an inflational language. 
ፈለገ ፈለገች ፈለጉ ፈለጋቹ ኢንፍሌሽን አለ ሶ አንድ ወርድ ብቻ ዲክሽነሪ ላይ አርግ ሌላው ድራይቭ ማድረግ አንችልም ማለት ነው ኦፍ ኮርስ ዩ ካን ዲል ዊዝ ዚስ ካይንድ ኦፍ ኢሹ ዩዚንግ ዘ ሞርፎሎጂካል አናላይዘር ኦር ባይ ክሬቲንግ ሳም ሩልስ ኦፍ ኢንፍሌሽን ኤንድ ዩ ካን ካም አፕ ዊዝ ዘ ዌይ ቱ ሚኒማይዝ ዘ ቶታል ሳይድ ኦፍ ዘ ዲክሽነሪ ኦፍ ኮርስ as a computer scientist you, we always care about the space and the memory utilization yes so dictionary betam tilik kehone lookup um endezaw cemran malen lemisale suppose there are 1000 or 1 million words in your dictionary so every time you type you need to check each word to look for it is validity inside a dictionary that contains 1 million words that's super tough yes malefi busy wonna godu fech wala so we need to care about that selezi ahunum sira la yallo approach no like microsoft office la indemitaqut eza malki saral dikmetum allo malet no lela enigram analysis the second approach instead of recording or keeping the valid for word for each language you need to store on it is those frequent enigrams enigram kajinna siti word to ko fakenya fnama kajedu qamna siti we have nama so if you are using 2 grams we need to split this one into 2 2 so as you egelle na tokota a am lamata man sadita we do now we do have 3 2 2 grams san bode malgo no word hunda bi fakana nerge ciccireti ወረ ሄዱሚና አርገመን ቆፈ ዲክሽነሪ ከኛ ቄሰ ከኝ ኦኬ አፍተር ዱዊንግ ዘ ኤኒግራም ዩ ኒድ ቱ ኤክስትራክት ዞስ ፍሪኩዌንት ኤኒግራምስ ኦንሊስ ጅቾቱ እንደራከ ከነተ ጅ በዲክሽነሪ ኩኬ ቶኮ ከሰ ጅ ጭግሬ ከኝቲ ቢፈከናን ኬወና ሰምቦድ ነሚ ቶኮ ይሮኒ በረይሱ ኤኒግራም ይሳ ኩኩታላ አላችሁ ሶ ና ኦኬ ና ኢዝ ናይስ ፍሪኩዌንት ኦኬ is my frequent so this is a valid word ne bereda barachu this is most effective way so fakenya fafano roborot ne mi fakana no jit injiru i do i'm not sure about amharic if there is any paper that address or utilize any gram analysis for uh, amharic uh, spelling error detection and you can search about it and you can work on this one too sanifu asrat dela good in this switch it's very simple but very effective okay very simple but very effective so you can also consider to work on this area so the task is you need to chunk or split each word into a given chunks chunk with a fixed size okay then once you build that you need to extract those frequent enigrams so word in takako rarely get it of your jirate is any is that you know so what ይሮ ኢረ ዲቴክት ጎት ኮምፔር ይያረክ ተሰራለ ማለት ነው። ሶ ዚስ ዋት ኮል ኤኒግራም አናሊሲስ። ኦፍ ኮርስ አይ ስቴድ ኢርሊየር ዩ ካን አልሶ ዲቫይስ ሳም ስፔሻል ሩል ፎር ዛት ስፔሲፊክ ላንጉጅ ኢን ኦርደር ቱ ዲቴክት ዘ ስፔሊንግ ኢረ። ወሪ ኦኬ ቁበን ካሰ ወልዱ ካበረ ፈሙ እንደለ ይፈከኛ ፊ ዳፊ ዛን ወልዱ ካፋን ሮሞ ከሰት ታምሪ ሜቃን እንጂሩ። ወርዲ ፍሌ ሮበር ሲኖቻ። ሰኒፉ ዳፊ ዛን ወልዱ ካዱ ፈረታና ቃብ ይጀን ጀቹ ደንደኛ ቹ ቢኮዝ देयर इज नो वर्ड दैट कम्स विद दैट አከስሞሞ ቁበን ኤችን ተሰማ አፋን ሮቦ ከሰት ደብሊን ነው ኖ ዌይ ሶ ዘ ዘ ኤች ካን ኖት ቢ ዩዝ ቱጌዘር ኢን አፋን ሮሞ ወርድ ሶ ካን ዩ ሂር ሚ ጋይስ ዬስ ዬስ ይደጋ ማጆል ይደጋ ማ ኦኬ ይደጋ ማ ሆል ሶ ሩል ቤዝድ ዲሮቶ ሩሊ መታከኛ አፋንሳና ዱካ ከደሙ ቢልድ ጎቹ ቀም ነገሩ ኩማሉ ጋር ፈታ ላንጉጅ ኤክስፐርት ይተው ቀብና ይችላል ፈከኛ ፈንተሲ ሲኪ ያስራይ ነው ጅ ሩል ቤዝድ ዲሮ ሰና ሶ ወራ አፋኖ ሮሞዳ ማስተር ሲቀብ ነው ካምበር ሲሶ ተንቁነም ተንታና ሩሊ ሰና ነርገተ ሶ ላክሊ አይ አይ ፋውንድ ዎን ቴስ ኢዝ ዛት ወርክድ ኦን አፋኖ ሮሞ ፎር for uh, the spelling error analysis afanoromo dafujita minni nama computer amiti garu pattern 
Lugukuruk ubes su afano rumut jute itu re nami tay. Tesis sisa tu an rudi sana cerra, tesis sisa cerra extract tu re. Gara kodi tu je jiru jute itu re. So I'm I'm lucky at that time. Okay, otherwise it's very difficult to get or extract those important rules for a specific language. Okay, garu selpa ada rule sana bini nani language expert itu tane drive go curen deh ni aja. Like af etchin double in tau aku macam ni curen afan romo kesat. Jo kacara ordin sun etchin lama ordin tane jira te. We need to get rid of that. The same thing goes for Amharic. Sometimes you do you don't put two consonant together. Ahom me ya mulo betul betul kami yang me me bila answer. Bazaar mungkin jemur kuat sendiri ni, otomatik kali yang kira, kita kita mari kita ada. Anything wrong? Rakyat jelas. Okay. And the last one is neural network based approach. So in this case, you don't need to care about the rule. You don't need to work on the NR gram analysis. Just you need to provide the data to the machine. And it will try to figure out the rule by itself so that you can utilize that for spelling error detection. There come a two neural network of a nuni, ata rule based dictionary nura ambis with one hundu mara to each other. So, so the, you need to give it the data like this one, and it will try to figure out what is the correct way to write A O C C D R N I G. So it will automatically learn to produce according like this one as the potential candidate for this one. So here, in the case of neural network, you need to prepare the data set that contains the word with error and the without error. So input to word without error, and the output will become what? the correct word value. So if you error it in any, it can in a committee delega, just you need to give it to him. And it will figure out the rule for you. AI selalu juga faham dalam nuti rule yang extract dan ugu ura haji sah. So that will be the the state of the art approach for spelling error detection. And the next step is suggestion generation. So now we have a mechanism to detect the error. That can be dictionary lookup, or rule based ingram analysis, or the neural net approach. So once we get rid of that, we need to have a mechanism to generate the correct suggestion for the misspelled word. So the most commonly used suggestion technique is called edit distance. So the edit distance is the number of insertion or deletion or substitution that you need to make in order to transfer one word to another word or the mistyped word to the correct one. Okay? So, as a you can take a look at this. For example, Hindemi is not a valid word in a final role. Yes? Hindemi. Okay? So, now, our spelling error detection, figure out that this is not a valid word. So, the next step is you need to find a way to generate a suggestion for this one. Okay? Sorry, once. Sorry. Yeah, the students are asking me for the clearance signature, and that's why. And I apologize for that. So... So now we do have some potential candidate for the word Hindemi. So, for example, let's say one of the candidate is Demi. Okay? This is the edit distance or the number of edit operations that we need to make to transfer Hindemi to Demi. So, so there is extra three words here. Yes, three letters here. H-I-N. So, to transform Hindemi to Demi, we need to delete three characters from this one yes so we do have three delete operation sadi asi kana da chu hindemi gara demi tijiru fi character sadi asi barresu kab let's go for demi demi ratimo malta hinin badu kab demma three delete operation and again i need to be changed to a so 
there is one substitution. E is going to be substituted by A. So in total, we are going to make four edit operations. That's what we call edit distance. Somebody who calculate the calculator is going to go to the So, for example, if you have a Nijra, Hindemi, Hindemti, Hindema, Hindemu Nijra, it's not going to go to the other side. So, candidate go to the other generate go to the other side, edit distance to the other side. Hindemu, because in order to transform Hindemi to Hindemu, you need to only perform one substitution, replacing I with you. So, in, in such a way, you can generate the suggestion. So this is a typical mechanism to create the suggestion for uh, for uh, spelling error correction. So maybe just uh, before moving to the next topic or the next application of uh, NLP, let's see some demo. Dictionary look up how generally simple go nature of Kenya. Edit distance concept can of a nature. If I send one, so uh, I don't know if you can see my slide or not. Uh, screen him and share with Elala. So, you let me share the, the entire screen now. Just not party, but it will be way well. Lisa, so let me close this one. Yeah, mm. I hope. You can see my slide, yes, yeah. So, what do you think about resonating? Chalan, Bishan, you gain your answer. So, saving what a word you cannot go out sort of before one brass devil and then you said. So, Bishan, you gain who fate is a condition rate of air and no math. Save us and just let me document the case at our issue. Well, let go university. Why you NLP? Say we go to the map data dots your office and text file. So, word me a governor to call a massary after shank up. So, none of it just Python if I am if you had as an engineer into it. Of course, software in a toko you to fame for your demon in the day. So, Nigel Kaba Jupiter notebook if I am one day and install you go on it. Otherwise, you can use a call-up online version, man. So the, the Google already make it available for us. Hello. The screen is full. So, on my thread, call-up is fired, man. Just already. And of machine car running, car car call-up is fired, man. Day, maybe you feel that need to take this fired, man. Day, yeah. As a result, an account day, na. Anaconda power shell in the razor. As a ratty, as a ratty. Before the done, you anaconda mulusa of it and software as a decom by default. The first one is spider. The second one is terminal, black screen, retiber resident in Dania, Nisadafa, browser in retiber resident in Amarachi said decom nature by default. So Barsisu, Kamija too, is a Canada and some Fayadama, no browser in retica. Spider you open many Guracha one native to Peter notebook the embarrass at your so interior on the room as you can have any so back and file I'm not saving what in demo so where I save that file my my did is a good why you need a cat w w never better come on where is w yes here it is but the file is here they will name it when the data of text there as a routine python code even actually new gadget to jerky it's an ethnic mula that they are as a routine python three in general python version and correct for me run amul desa so uh makati can you then yes it click you go name as an title gadget already so i may say spelling checker So file itu ni boleh cik edi mesej mana tak boleh lalu dendanya cula bahkan masih guna senat where is it asyik cula spell checker kerja tu file lama i python notebook ni lagap so the first step is that we need to read the data yes text file senat tu pisu kau mula gara mudah lagi niat yes so senat tu pisu fi maybe 
akka seeran sinitti mullatu ti share share stop it in resharing goda di fama browsering ki akka seeran mullatu fedin yeah i think now you can see it yeah so what's the first step jal qabratti paytani nlp sa tawafida data ke nyari go chu qabna so i may say my data equal to open in data open is a keyword open what you need to give a file name kake nyama maljin data dot txt jenne oma jenne it's about a read mode aila once a div banna open go chu dafi update go chu ni banna chu go one read write in is jira chu so amanu read write go chu ni dubisu ko habar banna sirat that needs to be the first step then read jenna mamo so we are going to read about uh all data akanina do this word yet ke sajira hunda cha so my data here i do have one variable here so my data dot read in jira anuma then the next step is word is an egum bare se chalam bishan do gemna min ke jira sentence ilan jira sanafu kukutu zuna rajira tokenize ska jennu ta we need to tokenize because the spell checking gi bodeyo go jennu word level irat wanna te fi word ko fatimu murre ke wanna so mal jeden ka tenda uh, afan oromo afan oromo words isaram fudda variable kana ra kun string gi dam dot split ingo dam malina ne split gora afano romo rat get to ko kabra ra kan ni timbo space da kana fu space ingo da tu okay so print je de la lon nda sa bo print je ne asrat tam sa chit be la lon de nyame coding ke nyama ma tio sirri te rani gu je nu nu ta gar si su qaba tu da kuma lal tan chit be je la la sirra output insa chalan ofat wordi to bishan uge qufe chis so amma ga So now we are going to build a dictionary based spell checker. Okay? So in a dictionary based spell checker, any word that's not found in the dictionary of that specific language is going to be considered as spelling error. Kana kana nadde kana ala kata in fudato ma system ni kenya chara. So isa dala guf dim na chu. So kana nan balle sayo print go desi nitta garsi su fin go de wante unun barba chisu. So amma ga function in barba chi setu ram function in python irat div den ne yel kamna function in define ro go ru then you need to give it a name maka barba dani function in oro enne oro spell take it yes you can give it any name kabba de jechu den nis you can give it any name so the input to this model is going to be it will take one word or input word de jechu den denya kan user in gal tu taboda mal goda dictionary kana din compare goda yo jirate okay injiru yote mo irari da jire nitti mu qaba tu so next if in injiru python irati colony fa yedamna asit colony barre se so now we can go to the checker so for word in to kadwa bisa salqam barisa malgo na for loop in number watch if felt it anu tumura nes if input word not in amma ga do gogora kan number watch suni if input word not in mm afano romo for this kana ke sayo ndirre malgo print mm denne word chaba so input word is not a valid o kana fano member rate no kan input word in kun afano romo ke sanjur o kan do gurte ta kaje do kanu basu go chure ndenya chure so this is our function kana fomo o ji spelling ir checker if ne ra chule me hayla lu gamo qoru ndenya word it kenne ni so we need to do some function call or a spell checker word it word it kenne namma sit fakenya fi uh kanu ti dictionary ke nyarra qabne chaalan jira tore ma gaddisan jiru dictionary ke nyakes gaddisa tumal jire 
gaadisa isa jedu kun afan romo ke sanjiru ed mali fi dictionary ke nyerran qabna ski sanjiru eh caala anjira tur caala an kan jedu mal jedi irari imba ne sirri da jedu caala en yom bra bere se garu no jito mo anti kun caala kun jetti caala kun jenne bere su den de nyakkan ne bere du fi amma garu nga concept isa katti bartani male yo fully fledged application ni caala ni nergine so dictionary look up ni exact word di barbada chu okay exact word di barbada so amma mal dalag ne ramamat kana nan ko tarati irari checker jin amma mo suggestion kan generate gudu ujjuchu kam so suggestion ujjuchu da mal tinu barbada chisa edit distance sana calculate gochu kam sanifu computer ke sanir ti yon qanam ne te akasi tani qan pip an package hara install gochu fenna python irati pip install the neighboration pip install then you need to write the package name edit distance functioning ko already python ira jirawante fi an ko rat already fi amira wante fan in barbado chura so import go chuko fan rai ka so import edit distance distance calculate ka kana go fi sa hinde mi yero jirato re kala tani so so this 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 package is used to calculate the the minimum number of edit operation required to transform one word to another for so for example as it me was in tagasis edit distance between banana and banana as you can see here there is only one edit operation yes b is going to be replaced by l okay so our put in samal to kaba kuni to ko chuda to ko to kaba run oh something is wrong oh sorry evaluate ka je un run fa de sit amrani gungo ru to ko ba se chuda kar gita na sit mo l to ko yon dabale mo our put in sa kabra ta la 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 madam we need to delete this one and again we need to replace this one by what b sanifu kana fa yedam ne ma an kenya suggestion you to choose them na chudam so kana number lesa function to kon uma ga if or suggestion suggestion you can create good for a given word input word if ata kon is input word so kon mal go da matte cha edit distance is out na ga ma variable tan nu barba ci som okay so कैंडिडेट ही और भी कब आ चुका हूँ ना ऐसे कैंडिडेट का गोल हूँ सो जल कब इंफिटी जन्ने आ जल कब नू डिस्टेंस इन जल का वायरी फोल्ड में कहाने बाजे नू न्यू गुड डांस है इरे यो और भी नम्बर का ना गुड तो फांग और मुके संजरू डिड मिनी का सो द द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इस जस्ट फोर लूप for w in in afano romo word this word di hunda zane chara asira ka jiru distance is ani calculate gone i'm going to call the edit distance so i may say b1 is equal to edit distance dot evaluate input word di kamna word bi kana jin compare gona chala tokko tokko sane iterate gode nu ba sane kun so maybe in case you are not familiar with the python list and the for loop worry afano ro wada gesan amarifis video lo man tokko jiru youtube ira lalu dende su click with god this akaje do run for sibira ken ne kana record gode jira achira lalu dende su so topic in course kana so introduction to python imit wonna te fi isin to figure out gochu qaba chura because we don't have enough time to Uh, give a detail for each uh, terminologies in python but i'm going to provide the general overview how to use the python for nlp applications so distance we now we get the distance from the current word the first word to the input word so this will keep repeating until all the valid words in this file is scanned okay so amaga if you go ne if p1 is less than p2 you you the a malgon p is equal to p1 you go na as it candidate you go na chula so word is amaka and b that is equal to 
wordi char ganne so the candidate is going to be w at this time mali fitika ta yechu sorry w so looping kun yero umu amma candidate sana baf na yechu definitely candidate print gochu dende nyam so print hmm. I may say suggestion for hmm, input word. W is are we the one who is the candidate? I'm the candidate. I'm going to say no, he may be the Suggestion for this word is this one. May I have a look? Dictionary can you have a look? Many. So, kana running goda. So, amaga input ike nene ayalalo. So, oro suggestion, oro suggestion. Wording kenu fifth day, ma'am. Alan gira data ike nyake sa kumasim beta. Yes, Alan garunjo. Kana fu Alan tikat ya tu data bezi ike nyake sa. Kanu tamu jin nyake sa Alan ita. So Alan ini nuba suka bacaan. Mi ayalalo run goni run. Oh, D2 is not defined. Where is D2? Yeah, I, here I make a mistake. This needs to be D. Okay? Yeah. Amma kargita ni maljad. Lala. Suggestion for chala is chala. Amma chala ti tiriyata. Wordi nu tikam nu kesa. Because wordi nu tikam nu. Maadid. Afano rogo wordi iska jiru kuni. Data na skesa jiru maadid. Alan, Bishan, Uge, Ufet, Isa ka jiru. So, kan hunda kesa. Jecha chala jiru tikar iyaatu. Alan is a jiru kanafu, edit distance and calculator get here at Kenya. You know, Mumu, Bushan go de, Bushan talk about a disunity. Me, I love. Yeah, Bushan get Eva said, so Bifakanan, Margot Chudan de Natura, basic unit rule based dictionary of Jetudan de Natura. So the Duba Mari Lakuni, Microsoft Office wording Bifakanan of Jetatura, Raji Branca, AI in Fayedamu, rule based this meeting, Malifi. Or the hair I was thinking, then they be in a good one. That if you do so, maybe a code can over bad than if you not party the guy border sharing is in if you got up, but in paste you got me. So let me copy it. Just for, for you to practice this. Paste it here. And finally, we can do this one. File, save us. Yes, I will share with you later on. Why you example one? Okay. Boda, it's not even share, Goda. So, I'm going to go to the bar. So, what is next? Uh, I'll take it. Yeah. Stop sharing. What is Lady Tree is with any? So where is it? Yeah. Hmm. Let me put it in a slideshow. I'm not afraid of it. Yeah. Okay, so the next important application of NLP or a research area or research direction in natural language process is called name it in TT recognition. In TT, Kajenu, Wahedu Taudanda, Makanama Taudanda, Bakahoji location Taudanda, currency Taudanda, Sana automatically document good duck in the Navy model in Kenya. One tabar bannock of extract the good air cabasu with Jituber Banatanan is called name it entity recognition. So the goal here is to automatically identify core entities or core categories in the text and classify them to predefined categories. So the category depends on the type of problem that we are going to solve. But most of the time in name it entity recognition research, we do have some core category that's air categories are there location person organization date time percentage and monetary value and none of the other if those category doesn't belong to any of these seven categories you can flag it as none of the other so the the core task in name it entity recognition is how to extract 
these core categories from a given text data or PDF file or anything. For example, let me hear Hoji apply good. Your CV bar is says can go in PDF it and other word it and upload. So a covetan Hojita Kafi and my Roma Gana Namukumataman apply good and so so uh malbar banna sitti automatically namasana automatically namasana location isa malsa sana kir you can call you wanna take of extract raguni for the chuber bani summarize good eka no basufi document you under the business maracanu concept you can have a year the mudan dinya to the fucking of name to kojiro apply guru experience in ever resa sanafu we can consider experience as one category and again date of graduation gpa maybe it is so important so in that case we can consider it as one of the category and then we can devise a mechanism to automatically extract each candidate and automatically filter out the top candidate for the interview untu magaba olitu am ne interview magonu concept kana fayedam ne wonto takasi dala guden de nyaachu Okay, so that's the key concept in NLP, and these are some typical examples. For example, on the 5th of September, Tim Cook announced that Apple wants to acquire ABC Group from New York for $1 billion. Maybe if you apply name it in TT recognition, NER will automatically extract the date when the Apple is going to, to make the purchase. So we can query this kind of question. So the model will automatically answer it is on 5th of 15th of September. Okay, from who? Organization is here. So it will automatically answer ABC group. So some typical use cases I already mentioned about resume or CV summarization. That's the core application. So applicant in Unless uh, okay, applicant profile automatically, yani extract maragin chalandem maratno. Two le minute ta kam kholle. Misal ihi nyau responsibility, develop administrator na barasu. Ihi nyau tool yani masrati chalal maran. So that's a key concept in naming entity recognition. So the second core application of NLP is a question answering system, somewhat close to the naming entity recognition tasks. Okay. So, gafi gafi ni automatically modeling akadebi nu debi suko chuchura. So that's the task. So this task of natural language processing is concerned with building a system that automatically extract the user query and generate human-like response to the user query. Okay, ama fakay niyafi googlera. What is the age of Barack Obama? You didn't Davis and offer video nuka. So Gaffi Davis on already Google Rabbi Fasan and Tainjo. Analyze good, eh? It analyzes what we are asking. And again, it utilizes the concept of name it in TT recognition. Sanira variety, baby nuke and natural. That's the task. So in question answering tasks. The name it in TT recognition part is very important. For example, what is Yerojenu? The, the model needs to know that you are asking for location. So the, the, the answer must be something that's related to location. And if the user is for providing who is, then you are asking about the person. So the output must be something related to personal. What is it? So in this case, it is the organization. So the NLP will allow us to build a model that reacts to human questions in such a way, okay? So maybe you can type this one on a Google. What does divergent mean? So it specifically provides you the answer. What year was Abraham Lincoln born? Data and Bifa, Gafi, David, and data set, you can train data set, you Modeling automatically what year? So you are asking about specific year. About whom? About Abraham Lincoln. Yes. Sana analyze good entity DB can move the So you need to utilize the power of QA 
to build this kind of model. And you can ask any queries like that. For example, this is a screenshot that I took earlier. How old is Lemma Magarsa? Look, how old? We are asking for a year. And here is a person. Then the model will automatically generate this one. So the model, so of course, Google knows when he was born and it will do the calculation once he understands the queries that we are providing to him. So QN NLP, that's So name it in TT as a Lamma Magarsa at Devasun Dendo Tanan, Devi Kana Devi Sun Dendo Witcher. How old is it? Umo category can be Kutana. What it is? What is the location? Who is the person? Can I recognize in Gurutana? Devi Kana Kenun Dendo Witcher. So now Google is a very powerful one and it will react to your question as the human does. Yes? Before Sanan, application need to come. So this is a typical uh, architecture of building the question answering system. So in the case of information retrieval, of course, you need to provide a search query to the, the Google search box. Okay, we provide the query. What is next? Of course, Google in Mita Ukohona, Majamara Laminaragat. Setati Hona data search engine garin dahid, Majamara like spelling irun check yaraga. Yes? Suggestion Avada, Majamara Lina Setatia Lunagar Kazafmar. Do you want to search for this? Suggest Yaragan. Then suggestion Katakabel, Kataka, Miniaragan, Yenyant Iaki, analyze Yaragan. First, it will apply what? Part of speech tag. Now, who is coming today? Adabazukaba. Query Kenya Kisachu. Which one is a noun? Which one is a name in entity? And what is the question? Sanati Chiratir Gabasiti, Gara documenti analysis it today much. There is a collection of documents. Of course, Google do have billions of interla interlinked documents. So then it will move to analyze so that part, and then finally it will return the pre-screened or the, the top ranked candidate for the user query. Undu masan for rank ego re nu fidani Google irat search ego nu fasan andala gachu. So so the takeaway here is that when you provide a question to the Google search engine, first it will try to correct the spelling error. Then it will do the part of speech tagging. Then it will do the name entity recognition. If there is any some, anything that's related to names or, or categories or any other one of those. I'm 
It utilizes all available NLP uh, tasks for uh, search engine optimization. So, so as you know, there are numerous competitors. Microsoft, MSN, search engine, Yahoo, China, Baidu. So, let's see, Google, Google, and the one thing you NLP. NLP task is not a and so Google like search CR to the point if it lego in Megan Yukohona, where they are made a bit mechanism yet them, where the MSN made a bit way, where they buy do we made a bit mechanism yet them. So they invest huge money on this one to come up with the, the, the leading company in the search engine now. While internet, but they go and Google in Jeruja Chutikan or sometimes when we say internet, we say about Google, yes. So this is a, the, the, the powerful engine behind Google is the NLP or natural language processing, specifically that of the question answering system. The, the other interesting part or application of NLP is the text summarization. You know, you know, and the telegram document that you can summarize the output of the NLP. Ahun almost technology kavaza wala bzugizinya mas af mo mamba banodim because we want a shortcut. Lazi social media line achar yone chinten no minana bunji and so post sisif amis gas sidis gas argo has we we are not interested to read that. Yes, so text summarization is very important. So yeah, concept defines an arc says a NLP application that aim it at minimizing the number of sentences or words of a document without changing its meaning. This is very important. Meaning, compressor gumas kabmat maren. Like photo line image compression in dallo takes the line maren maren mahun. And the photo, the techno mobile and statue. Mobile at July sit tayo size umet amter legno. Wede Facebook upload arguna melisa chu save sit telu, but amter nish no mihono size. Sit tower do mara. Let me compression algorithm se lemit takamo. Photo la yano tama sa sa iso no. Of course, yahon ech variation in oral. Gin meaning gua ata fam. Yanin sa waika yer misara yalo sa un compress ayare kamara. So the same thing holds for text data or textual data. So there are some algorithms that do the text summarization. Or paraphrasing, even the lower one. So, let's take some example. Let's let, let me read it for you. Tolesa and the child two took a taxi to attend the night party in the city. While at the party, child two collapsed and was rushed to the hospital. Okay, the core point is that. Child to fit Tolosan, mana party di mana ni? Ini lama tamu, kolaps segote hospital ada musir. Yes, what is wrong? Yeah, so I mistakenly touched the the slide. Sorry. Shit. Yeah, we are here. So, core point in Akanamat teacher, of course, and I'm a self, but I can summarize with Juni. So, party de Musani, Shentoko, Abde Intenito Shit, hospitalized to Shit. So, we need to have the kind of algorithms that do this kind of transformation. Yes, so here, 
the core point here is the, the name or name it entity Tolosa and the Alto, and we care about the attending the party. And again, something happened to Chalto. So if we do some minimization, we can re resummarize or paraphrase it as follows. Chalto was hospitalized after attending a party with Tolosa. The both carry the same meaning. Yes. So, so this kind of application is called text summarization. So summarize in let me study. Papers in self abstract data. Abstract mallet is a short summary of the entire text or the entire thesis. So let's see automatically by machine learning as Tamarin Yan in this and Maragin Chiral and Ahun Al Morilo Chal Yan in Saramis abstract in Missful Dinal. Just give it the bulk data that you have and it will automatically do the summarization for you. So this is again the core application of NLP. Of course, as it is a Kumagartani. Name it in TT, part of speech tiger, Kana Jerry Yelka, Barbaj Sura to us, Rotogica and Rotilly. They are very important. Is Halin Jerantana, Afan Tokovi, and Nilipio Jedero, Fadulu Mahasa Namale? One Taoji role, Nujin, Nisomo. Because the pre processing is very important in any NLP tasks. Spell checking, part of speech tacking, name it in TT recognition. Can I put in Kesa, Murasik is an asset, Sirito Jukov as a part of your master's thesis? Okay, advisor case and you do a little tenita. So you need to work on those things because they are the critical ingredient for all the other NLP tasks. Yeah, so I already said this it's all about reducing the number of sentences or paragraphs without changing the meaning. Yes. So in doing so, we can convey the important idea to the user or to the, use, to the user in a short period of time without going through the entire document. Let me say, and so, anyhow, personally, and the paper published direct. Abstract interesting, if the abstracting is not interesting, I'm not interested to read or waste my time in going through. 12 or 13 pages of document. Yes. So that's a core point for text summarization. Let me study Google Yani Yanini Sara. Text summarization is Sara. And the Google NLP Mitak Amiel, Madam Lai. So let me study in you. Stay in Midimais Largena. Let's go to the, that part. Uh, I'm going to share my entire screen. Where is it? Yes. So uh, this one. So Google lai ahun Google Google no zila un le misari about let's let me tell what like university. Rata kumar gita ni office ani summarization ni ujita ra Google ni bifa kana core point name it in titi what rata an furate asarati summary you can information in you can najar what like university also now nas ne kamte is a university ne kamte. Address is Amun. Why address is in Gafan? Ne? Corey, the general office and summary in Abbas, I just come again. Can I ask? As it is mulla to cover tunta, I mean, as it is you all tani. Maybe I mean, I mean, change this query. What is NLP? Can I enter? As a result, come again tani. Summary can I Google it automatically? Documenti can I ra? You can have name good data. Can I under case sati Corey she thati summarize good even. Fidiga so. Notitun Jorin, can offer a late dinkies and Uto Banudan Dina to the Tula Fay. Kunisa Kasum, summary can a canoe to Google it automatically. Summary about that specific link. Gana San Kat, who's to Coriono, Yenat Yak Igar, Machi Merak, summarize Arguyasa Yenat Selezi, unnecessary document, Mambab, I tabak a Benamarano. So this is why we like Google. Yeah, so yeah, let me get back. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Window. So this is a yeah typical application, natural language corpus with them, but I'm huge on a text in or another. As a 
text summarization algorithm demo min yaregal yani summarize argo yawatal of course ihi be rule based menam betam kebal no ihin ni masrat matet no because science lai min tsifo tsuf na sport gara yetegenanyi min tsifo tsuf yetelayaye no na yanin wot yihone rule mawtat antinim na ihi boom yetederego ai we demo neural network we demo machine learning kemata bawala no enezi betam popular honu yemetut malen text summarization yemenelo so this is a typical structure on how to build the text summarization model of course at the beginning you need to have thousands of articles or documents you need to have that so asretti wonni nemerekisu mal zeitan parallel data is in berbachi samali fi document is balki te berefa me fi is a summarize the parallelly one bracket and in persistent anal of his and in the language of the board rakona sirati model of jitu tuntani data of isuda text summarization research teacher so this is a challenge in building text summarization model you need to have a parallel corpora that contains a document with bulky text and a document with a summarized text afterward when you provide a new sentence it will do this summarization by learning the transformation from the original training data achira bareti chira san san kanin nidalak so san ega goneti we need to do some sort of vectorization vector malifi modelli lakko seratto jeta so barefami mo qubeda wonate fi convert gochu qamna chira we need to do the transformation those text needs to be converted to the vector and actually we have a topic about this one about how to do the transformation of textual data to the vector so we do have a bag of for this model tfidf we have only two vague gensim numerous packages are there and we can utilize one of those and then we need to compute the similarity if those texts are similar we can remove those redundant sentences from the paragraph and then finally we do the ranking and we can provide the summary so the challenge here is preparing those articles or document for building the model this part is already made for english and you can utilize it as it is because the way we do the writing for english and afan row is almost the same there is a clear boundary between words so space is a delimiter in afan row more the same thing for english so you can utilize the algorithm that was made for English as it is for Afano Romo and again for Amharic language. Of course, you need to do some sort of encoding for Amharic tasks because it needs a UTF-8. Latin Salado, no, I don't know. The Lazi Kabadu Serazilai, data on data manura. The English is not a grill. The Felegatu and Motoshi paragraph and the online corpus of Chalot, Tilly corpus. The Lazi Animatakami, the Chala, Nagargan. The local language summary kaban as in Ayla Masrat Walla. So maybe Tesisa Chun Dizaga Yumara Gitchin Ali. Zilay Misaruko Nema. The Lemon Yanin Data Mazagajit, but I'm Kabar Sedo Nema. The next part is sentiment analysis. Sentiment means kind of intention analysis. Yes. So this is an NLP task that deals with determining the polarity of the post or a tweet in a social media network. So you can opinion in a identify with Twitter. One time I met and say post you you can comment to go in. Okay, this is a positive comment. This is a negative comment. This is a neutral going to categorize Mark Martin. Okay, so that's what we call sentiment analysis. Or opinion mining it much. So for example, here I, as you can see here, there is one comment. My experience so far has been fantastic. So this can be considered as a positive comment. The product is oak, I guess. It's a kind of neutral is your support team is useless. So maybe this this customer wrote about he he he, he was disappointed about the service provided to him. And they only both I do. <clears throat> so it is negative. So this kind of task is or this kind of automatic opinion mining is called sentiment analysis. So Namayotan in Usalpada Garu, 
hoji jaba da wani kun manif meaningi wanna toko kamurte su context ida so context ti sana bare positive ida bo negative ida kaje ru basu bayul fata for example ama fantastic jitti jedu yero hunda positive ida hunda ndo fakenya fi you killed him fantastic you don't ever raise if i say it like that this is negative yes it's not the positive so how the model is going to identify this kind of context super tough for the machine yes but, but of course if you have enough training data you can uh, overcome this kind of issues or the issue of the context okay okay doesn't mean it's always positive Yeah, let's take a look at some typical application of sentiment analysis. Okay, social media monitor na marek lini taka michela na lemon Facebook lazi ihin nta taka mo unnecessary comment ochen automatically indi tafa marek michela YouTube mi indezi marek michela marek. Uh, Iho na gizi Facebook ihin nta jamero na bar, especially Europe lai unnecessary negative yo na and bizu so se le Trump si aora we se le Obama si aora indi tafa marek. Kaza wala, umai rice watch ramo, yeso <hesitation> free speech get deba chut bulu kasa sena kaza wala leka kutuman deso, negar kin tulu tasar tuna bar, automatically sentiment analisa arko, analisa arko, negative yohonu tin, automatically ante tsuhe intercept tin yemiat afamar, okay, yeah of course it is powerful but there is some contradiction with that of freedom of speech gar. Igaja, dari lati kamu brand monitoring and reputation management. For example, Amazon, you, you know about the Amazon, and it's a very uh, intercontinental company. Jadi, so sila Amazon mini yawaran. What about our brand? Ini melulu lama. Sentiment analisis mata kami cila. Jadi, so cem misafut Facebook lah, Twitter lah, misafut sila Amazon analisa argo okay. Zat ana persen positif komentar net, aser persen negatif net. Selesai negatif bula ini sera. Mending nuci gerak cembelu, bersentimen analisis yang memerja makin jadi cerah net. No, you can work on that. You can work on that. Okay. So that's the the, the core application of uh, sentiment analysis. Customer action selesainya mana yang orang no, cembelu mau kicara. So for example, Telegram makes my day a lot easier. Okay. Aha, customer tu juga kerja dalam zaman ini sebab kau ni, dia ada interest di on tele ber, CBE ber, customer service a nightmare, total useless. Ya ni kita ni ke social media, sebenarnya analisis mara gini cila ni mara, no sentiment analisis bermat tak am, brand management lay masyarakat gini cila ni, we can work on that, okay? That's again the the core application of the sentiment analysis and and Yeroba iye na wuti yo guho jetan kana limiting go ran target area sani kana fu yero tesi si sani iye sani challenge to okay singa roma brand management company ta kafi okan specifically go tani uje chudan de suni baki rejuru afaro romos amari fafu nu uje tami juru balki da application area an san beka momo fakenya na mi toko <hesitation> sentiment analisi kan di banki a kato pe a to je chudan da da ta sana. Nik di bank ini tiwal tiwan wolf rati website ini rafna ni dalam gudang daa, you can about universities about something like that sentiment analisa kesana tidak dalam gudang daa aja specifically iu teh rafna put insa kan ini negari tu, kampanye dedat iu teh meaning insa sadedda application insa sadedda warna tv, warna kamera tamar gamun dan dia nu by the way do you know that it's possible to download the data from twitter Facebook ini setal, Facebook page yang mimpan, bayi kanu asal asal sih, woi anda di sini download ini taruh gue asal ini fakta. Ia fakta gacu tu malam. Itu pada boundary location ini masih mana taruh na, yang ini nama guna otomatis kali data download mari kita cari. Bayi kanu malam. Kaza, bayi anda di sini kahuna, bayar salah salah sih data ini orang malam. Anda tahu, ulit Facebook account kita fikir dalam mesin tin orang. Times itu, sos te Facebook account create target, bayi kanu sos te si data download marik tu cerdak dah marik. Selesai manual ni, ni kucu beli copy paste kan mentarik, 
ጀስ ፌስቡክ ፔጅ ያለ የትዊተርም ኤፒአይ ያለ ሊሚት አለ በየቀኑ የምታወርዶ ያንን መጠቅም ትችላላችሁ but first you need to know what area you are going to work on ማለት ተከው ጅተን ዱር አደባፈና ድርስተኒ ዳታ ፍላኑላ ዳታ ጋ አዩ ቀባተን ሪሰርች ጋር ይደለኩ ደንዴ ሱጃ but first you need to pick specific research area you are going you are going to work on the other part is somewhat related to the sentiment is that word sense is ambiguation okay so as you know some words have different different meaning based on the the context or where where, where we utilize them yes so these kind of words are very tricky for uh different applications like machine translation translate your own word parallelly okay qote kanje ru yironda jetete tihignatana sentence bira kese ro golu wonna hi kan qamne u machu machine translation yirojin so we need to get rid of those for example take a look at this sentence i will look at the passage are we talking about the passage of the the book or the direction i'm against it this is ambiguous yes it's very as ambiguous so we need to have a mechanism to disambiguate these words so of course if you take a look at the context of the paragraph we may we may come up with a strategy to disambiguate this one but if we independently model the word there is no way to do the disambiguation yes because in this case the passage has numerous meaning i will take i will look at the passage it can be a paragraph or the 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 book or the passage yes so word sense disambiguation is an nlp task that deals with how to disambiguate ambiguous words by relying on a context typical example in afano robo chalan lafasok chalan dubbi sok kajedu addadda meaning is addadda jo soke na siti jiru fi inas jiru addadda so modeli da baye rakisa da mali fi hundi sani gara aski code yo kan binary number it jira kana fu model yero gonu wontu ta kasi overcome gochu da fi sentence level modeling ino jinu tanan da se feida word level model go na tanan ni ku fachu da ojin kenya wontu nu no jichajer so word sense disambiguation is very important okay yeah so it's the, the very important part for machine translation ah machine translation in minsara ka hone ndegbaat word sense disambiguation has felegana word sense disambiguation is very 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 important yeah so yeah as you know that the machine translation is the task of translating the document that was written in one language to another language that's it language to code gara language ibrati jijiroch so of course when to tell baratami or the, the typical one is using a dictionary yes dictionary na magubai afanto ko gara afan romo gara inglifa inglifa gara afan rom amarik to english we do have a dictionary for that yes achira wonen jire garu nargen yes the same thing for this one of course kabarata memo nama nama ojeta ma translation yero bai like parliament in the parliament or in the courtroom ana murti ye gudemnu kan translation ikana ojetu nama da so we need to have some sort of alternative mechanism that's what we call machine translation okay so we can use that to do the translation tasks so this is a typical structure of the neural machine translation you need to provide the input sentence in one language to the encoder and then the decoder will produce the output in another language in cantal las fiestas in french maleto ke inglizeña wode french emi qayir malo berasu tamro yanin translation isara luckily kadiyo kana fano romoti google translation ni get ifa mergitani turtani in completely science hara na nojitame maybe you bodeyo nitdebe woyesati so 
let's move to the the next topic so now we do have a machine translation for Avanormo in the other language so if i provide the input and produce out this one then the translator in number batch switch you are gonna put you can one and do this new you know the day copy go next to kenya fan remote is ready to be student in natural because we do have a tool but always as a technical person or as a computer science do not expect 100 percent translation because the engine behind google translate is a neural network okay example no mimaro but example in kalelo bedem translate arage ahun kezi bebit yenebero ya amarenya translation turu adellem ahun gin betam yetashashale update yaregu betam best model ho ma bedem bi yesara no malet there are some challenges to build machine translation the first one is you need to have a parallel corpora or big training data le unetum qwanqwa parallel translation yasfelegenal malet le yandanu translation selezi yezin aynet beans 100000 linoren igeba 100000 parallel training malet no keza beta chaw nandande yasikenya leni thesis exam ayne roñi Machine translation lies around with that. She has a percent data and with the Kamko, let the data in that science would have moved below. But he data can let him model by minimum time or salasa percent alpha mila. Giddy young is in your model, no meter come up. Model was like a year. Zet an assignment to Matalinila. That's fake. I don't really accept that because it contradicts with what the science says. There is no way unless you build a new machine learning model. Let me know machine machine learning soul concept to mind no and this answer all the many mark yeah the case here ke family ke gorobit ketamir tibet yetamare yeah the gay yeah the gay ketanish data hulunum and the miss and gonna ace at the customer sentence and miss a little kahone that's fake so and the challenge here is you see tomorrow to meet that come bible all the amarinya all the orominya all the cells parallel data cell all the yanim bible it's a kamalu yada mochi guru mindu no lila domain lies toast i saw so the sport the only agar input kasato suya lamado just israel in na saudi arabia asti allo unterno word do chino zamori lay allo na kaza wat abel ante lila word sisif Kota bukan juga seperti demi kayu road Babylonia menaik belum nampak. Okay, so variety is important. You need to have enough training corpus to build the machine translation. Of course, kerja buat ada nantem. Ia konsep tu timarun orang jauh di Google sila ya. So, emis sarut negara ini orang bijal tapi kemusila machine translation lain macam tu. Le at this ko angkau kalau na, you don't need to waste your time on this one because we do have a tool for that because as a part of a test, we need to solve a given problem, yes? So problem solved with Kahone, we don't need to work on that. And again, there is domain mismatch. I don't know if you have a question. 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 It's a sport. It's a finance question. It's useless if you have a word or a translation. And of course, there are some rare words. Nazam ya as the gari no mihon of course searching is also very important. Tlik data no min sato zalai andu challenging tasks to no maren. So there are different ways to build a machine translation tasks. The first one is statistical approach. Kazi be fit ena baro based on the probability. What is the probability of getting a word is given a word t yemulo. Yang ini maaf data yang saya bersihkan na probability yang kalkulasi nara kalian ko akuran semua itu. Welcome na bonjour email mina el persen tu no abru mima tu. Yang ini with statistics kairan language model kesaran das call statistical approach. Lelanya awak ni minit tak kamu neural machine translation no ihenya. Selesi video apa an LSTM or long short term memory ala transformer ala birth model ala arin in ala nasun tetek kemen yang model masrah ini cila. So I think we do have a topic related to how to use a neural network for NLP task kemen topik selalu nazarin ala basic pun. 
and yeah do we have a time oh zari arba adellem tamariyoch juma no kodreda wa hmm selezi zari boda wulita debinu fun amma shani boda katti tifunu doctor todesh ash ayi so uh, let me resume my slide mm need to share window yeah so uh, the other application of nlp is next word prediction so given the previous n word the task is to predict what will come next akuma wezeri predict gonu ka torbeder belale borniro barro buka kajedemu word ni si predict to which word comes together so this kind of question will be answered using the concept of language modeling or the so called next word prediction so the aim is predicting the next word in a sentence maybe yeah, yeah. we can take this one as an example alan bishan dash so assume that you are writing this text in word in microsoft word and you want to build that automatically helps you in writing a document ama microsoft word in kanan number garu automatically number resu ni chalam bishal ergejeni ama kanatan se kanufu dendo mare da of course bishal dufe probably uge tew denda ni chalam bishan uge abbe beso katabale katlo mi mataw malet just like predicting bella of course numerous works has been done for english language like gmail line dem taqut automatically tsof sin tsifawun automatically min yarega predict yarega hi sinin qatlo mi mataun ya sayenal tab press karengno automatically redanal the same thing holds in mobile application mobile la chas narek wordochin predict yarega ya metallena that's what we call next word prediction so here is a task we do have two uh, strategies to build this kind of system or next prediction model ሁለት ማራጭ አለን አንዱ ስታስቲካል የምንባለው ዱሮ የምንጠቀመው ሌላው ደግሞ ኒውራል ኔት የምንለው ነው ኦፍ ኮርስ ዊ ኮል ኢት ማርኮፍ ሞዴል ምን እናረጋለን መጀመሪያ ላይ ማአት ሴንቴንስ እንሰበስባለ የው ሴንቴንስ መሰብሰብ ቀላል ነው ከመጽሐፍ ከሶሻል ሚዲያ መሰብሰብ ነው ይሄኛው እንዲሁም ዳታ ኮሌክሽን ነው አይከብድም ኔክስት ወርድ ፕሬዲክሽን ሪሰርች ከባድ አይደለም ዳታው በቀላል ማግኘት የምንችል ስለሆነ ማለት ነው like in the machine translation in the part of speech tagger i kept so lazy min nar yanin sebesibna we need to calculate the probability of word co occurrence for example in this graph we can easily understand that the probability is that a given person will type like after typing i is to send kana yesera argetani document afan ingilifan berref bemirafuna namit kanafu namito ko ay ergejedeti harki chalani sa ittani jechin niberesu like da chud kanafu mo google ireti ay ni space yerotunu kanini defenu fidu like da chud because it's the most preferable word or the the most probable word that comes next to ay lavi ni sakasu mo gudda da garu kanatu chal aku margitan probability ni kana to serve that that means 0.67 kana kana one sir dida so it's 0.33 okay amma like he predict nu go de hajin amma type he go chu barba net fufne space itun so the third one is what is the probability that a given person will type photography after typing like so that's 1 over 2 asetta mo holqita ta na kumar gita 1 to 1 to equal it photography fi i like photography fi i like science in worketa kana kesa kajal qaba abba fid inu fidu denda yachu no model so kana kana ojenu markov model eda ma bifa kana model yogone yoka markov change na probability sta calculate gone 
Data set ini kuda view di kono asal rajut curan dehnya. Duran hidup mina mobile ini rawat jiran ini. Word ini suggest word ini kono ni kanan rajut mali fi rule ini asal pada implement itu curah. Simple rule, just you need to calculate the probability of each word is, then put in the if else and you can have a next word prediction model. Like this one. I had such mobile license around me. I had such a great or great time or lively. Ranky got enough to die. Your probability not to negar see soon. You can have a drawing or application you want to take. Kundu duba no jithama. Full drawing ka isi nitru fumo ka na chala. I had such great time. I I had such a lively time in thousand days. So these three words are the most probable words. So it will automatically provide the suggestion. Facebook ira tis chat yero go nuni dufa. Of course, ni Facebook ira ru AI fa yeda mu. Automatically nurra le barari ma. Je chota nuti jala nufi dade man. Suggestion ira finin nufi du. Hundu ma kajiru tun taane. Kan nuti jala nulle. Arra kan nuti filad le ilala. Fidade ma ju. So that's the task of next word prediction. And again, Gmail ira ma mo dirka ma jara. Like, haven't seen you in a while. And I hope I'm... Each one of our race in India, Guru, can under no good here. I hope you are doing well. This is the task of next word prediction. So, you can bring this kind of application to Afano, Amharic, and other languages. As a result, the students will switch to the same level. You can work on this one. So, yeah. So that's the topic related to next word prediction. Can I make a good one? We do have numerous options. Word level prediction in Nigeria, character level prediction in Nigeria, sentence level prediction in the student. In fact, if you have a university, you have a character level in the student. You have a character level in the student. You can work on sentence level. You can work on word level. Word in the student, word in the student, word in the student. Sentence in the student, sentence in the student, word in the student. It's open for you to explore. Okay. Actually, one of my students is working on this one. He 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 is working on word level, and you can work on the character level, or you can try different approach. I'm a model of the head teacher, but guya guya kagat isa man best your ita ani. Or you can utilize the concept of transfer learning. I'm a nami ba in RNA ni fa yadama NLP rati transformer model kajira mo jira mas tito zar. You can use that transformer model. Birth model. You can work on that. Sana yogo te gafi examiner in situ vu. Njifa chudan desa chura. What is new yo si njada me approachi hara data hara ratu jete chura. The other application of. Yes. Any question? Gafi chura. Okay, okay. So the other task is text classification. Given an structured set of data, the task here is to classify those documents into different categories. So let, let's say, Asrshi uh, PDF file set at Chutalananta, so let's automatically yan, sport gare tegaranyo, what is sport? Sport emil folders in the Askam Middle Science gara itu guna nyu, le science. Nazar belu kata guru ini set ini pendekal. Selepas dia ambil pala text classification ini pala. So the task is the the is the is the is the way to automatically categorize and structure data into a predefined groups. So one of the important application of text classification is spam detection. Aku mau bete nam in your Gmail. Gmail ini rata nama yang orang email isi isi ni orang bawa visa ni, okay, kuni spam ini ada kelas five gora, spam ini santan, info inbox si kesan kes segel ta, spam ini satu email spam ini kes segel tu visa. Baru reform sana rata undai, yukan linki, yukan attachment ini sana rata undai, classification ini sana ujat aja rata, so itu sana structure. Malafi asyik ti, jadi tu ko, wan itu ko spam ini gochun nandu, akan spam ini tani gochun nandu. Konteks ti sana analyze gochun ujat awal nanti, itu lah so. That's the task. Of course, you need to utilize machine learning to do these kind of tasks. So given a specific email with the content and the attachment, 
the model will try to categorize the text and the attachment as a spam or not a spam. Okay, if it is a spam, it will mean it will move that email to the spam folder. Otherwise, it will move into the inbox folder. NLP no in Missarang, Lila Tamri. NLP can only be effects in Missaranagar, Lemi, Betamur, Mesratanchel. So these are some typical applications. So Majem Maralai, Sampolo Chinoran, Kaziba feet, is Pam Honu again, you go Gilinoran. So is Pam Kalo labelu, one no, is Pam Kelele zero no, Selezi, Yan in Tetakam model is a runa, at this email simata, Mineragano. Classification is a ramalet. Classification, Kazawara, no, Mr. Rabbit, at the beginning, you need to have this kind of data or training example to dictate that a given email is a spam or not spam. So something that directly goes with the spam detector is this hate speech detection. Of course, numerous research has been conducted in Ethiopia uh, for Ethiopia language with regard to the hate speech. So uh, hate, hate no way, I don't know, detect the mirror, model yes, well, again. And the word which Hate, let's be like chill. So let's see, context to more in my rec, and then leave you in my asphalt again. So the task here is the process of automatically detecting hate speech from a given text. So for example, Twitter lie around, let me say, let's unite and kill all the people who don't follow our religion. So this is a religious hate speech. So Twitter ahun model kalo automatically ihinin ka wake hate speech mohun ka wake barasum at fatale. But of course, on Facebook kalo the English in ya tesara the Twitter imalo yeras automatically yes ahun on detect arbo in ya post narek automatically and then di tefa. Twitter lai be bzaat tesara lai Facebook lai yo bzuk zay report ifan digale be zamal kisara. So there are numerous categories of hate speech, religious garetega na nyeli hunu chalal. Race car, disability, or sexual orientation car, it again, any one of them. Now, I am not consider her again. We must write it up because any minister of sexual orientation car, it again, any which are detected me are gone. Ziga fail me are gone, man. But still, uh, implementing the hate speech is challenging because something that is hate for you may not be hate for others. Let me say it. Gay yehonu soch sever siaru gay mla ambulo siaru hate lai honu chila. Eni demu gay yal hon kut nesun yu gay biye kaise ab hate no mi hon. Same things. Black soch aun tu kura America soch nigga sitte lai wadu. Gin sever salam sit baba lo hi nigga no 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 sever salam mi baba na. Even in hate, no hate at the middle of analyze the marriage. Race car, link car, gen calcerano, false positive, bazaar marriage. False positive. So, let's see, yeah, but I'm challenging Yaraga. Uncalla machine, the Soras Caparno. The Zano Vizuzi Facebook so catro, so manually and reporting this are I mad over. So that's the core. And yeah, uh, I think it's better to stop it here and then we can resume our class. Uh, since at the Sharan, Jul, Samika Tivoli Tidemu, eh, Sadi Tivoli Tademu, Burayana, one TV, Daphne Olagara. Sadi Tato. Atoshi. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao. Ciao,